Source, Xinhua, the 16th of June 2018, 16 hours 19 minutes and 48 seconds. Editor, ZH Video Player Close Beijing, June 16th, Xinhua, politicians and officials worldwide have praised the outcome of the historic summit between Kim Jong-un, top leader of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, DPRK, and U.S. President Donald Trump in Singapore on Tuesday. Myanmar's foreign ministry said that it hopes the positive outcome of the summit will work towards the complete denuclearization of the Korean peninsula, thus contributing to peace and stability of the region and the world at large. Chairperson of the African Union Commission Musa Faki Mahamat said he looks forward to the two countries working together with the same constructive spirit to fully implement the outcome of their summit. The establishment of new relations between the two countries and the resolution of the serious and long-standing challenges confronting the Korean Peninsula, particularly at its denuclearization, are of critical importance for the entire world, including Africa, Mahamat said. Such positive developments will usher in a new era of peace, prosperity and mutual trust in the peninsula, he said. French Foreign Minister Jean-Yves Le Drian welcomed the talks and said that it is important to make sure the outcome is really irreversible and verifiable. Australian Foreign Minister Julie Bishop said the deal made at the summit was a step in the right direction and the first positive development involving the DPRK in more than a decade. We are cautiously optimistic. It's a breakthrough, Bishop said, adding that the strength of this agreement will only be as good as the verification process that the DPRK allows. Kim and Trump gathered in Singapore on Tuesday for a historic meeting. Under a joint statement, Pyongyang and Washington agreed on complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula in exchange for security guarantees for the DPRK. The two leaders conducted comprehensive, in-depth and sincere exchange of opinions on issues related to the establishment of a new DPRK U.S. relationship and building a lasting and robust peace regime on the peninsula, the joint statement said. Zhang Yunlong in Yangon, Shifra Tedessa in Addis Ababa, Sonia in Paris, Charlie Happel in Canberra and Levi J. Parsons contributed to this story.